Are you an amateur radio operator that's on digital voice and has a Pi Star hotspot? And the other question is, do you like change? If you answered yes to either one of these questions, then this video is for you. In the time I've been involved in the digital modes, such as D-Star, P25, NXDN, C4FM, and of course DMR, I've built up a number of different Pi Star hotspots. I use a few of them for myself, and I've built up a few for friends. I wanted to take a moment today and make a quick video about a nice enhancement to the Pi Star dashboard by Chip W0CHP. I say it's a quick video because it's not an instructional video. It's way too early in the game for that as Chip is making enhancements every single day. And by the time some of you see this video, the interface will probably have changed. When I say changed, I'll tell you up front there's an update multiple times per day as it appears Chip is very busy perfecting this nice enhancement to the PyStar dashboard. Don't get me wrong. Andy Taylor, Mike Whiskey Zero, Mike Whiskey Zulu, has done a great job making the Pi Star a great tool for amateur radio operators on digital. Chip W0CHP has taken it a step further and added some nice enhancements. I don't know Chip, but it looks like he's doing a great job, so let me get right into the Pi Star dashboard that W0CHP has added perfections to. First, on the dashboard page, you'll get a quick, nice view near the top of the current caller details and the flag icon for their country. The local RF activity has been moved above the gateway activity, giving you an easier view of those details. Following that, you'll see the gateway activity. On the left-hand side of the screen, you're going to get the familiar modes enabled, network status, radio info, and networks. But you'll also get your APRS gateway status and modes enabled. If you don't constantly monitor the system information at the top, you can get rid of some of that clutter by clicking on the next menu option at the top titled Toggle SysInfo and turn that off for an even cleaner display of information. One cool feature that will come in handy, especially if you wirelessly display your Pi Star info on a screen in the shack, is the Live Caller Info screen. Here you don't need to be right on top of the screen and easily see in large letters a call sign of the current or last caller their location and signal information. Here's a quick look at the admin page, which gives you fast access to things such as the Brandmeister Manager and other administrative functions. You can customize it to what you would like to monitor and display as well, depending upon your preferences. You'll also find a systems detail page that gives you a breakdown of the memory usage and binary versions on your Pi Star hotspot. This is a quick overview, so I won't spend a lot of time in the backup and restore, update, or configuration pages for the Pi Star. You'll find for those, at least right now, are very similar to what you're used to seeing with the classic Pi Star menus. Before we're done, I did want to note quickly how easily, in the Expert CSS mode, you can change the colors of the W0CHP Pi Star dashboard. It's a nice feature, and instead of entering hexadecimal color codes, you can quickly pick a color from the color wheel and then select the color you want before applying the change and see what it's going to look like. To conclude, this is just a quick overview of the W0CHP dashboard that changes almost daily. You're going to need to be self-sufficient and overcome issues on your own. If you're handy when it comes to resolving issues with your Pi Star, then you'll enjoy the enhancement the chip is making to the dashboard. This code project is a moving target. It has bugs like any other code does, and it can be unstable. It also consumes more system resources due to the myriad of improvements. So if you've got one of those old jumbo hotspots around, the small ones with a single core and low powered, you might not want to load this on there, just be warned. This software runs slow on underpowered hardware. So if you have one of these such as a jumbo spot, please be warned. So I have some links in the show notes below. If you enjoyed the change and the new things, check out the W0CHP Pi Star Dashboard Enhancements at W0CHP.net. When you go to the page for the W0CHP Pi Star Dashboard, please read the entire page. Catch you next time, 7-3.